Hi guys, Paul here, and this is going to be a video on the Little B ESCs. And before I run you through the specs and details about these ESCs, uh, what I need to do is take a step back and run you through the lead up and the reason why I decided to give these ESCs a go. Now, what you're looking at here is my Avada. This is my 3S Avada. Uh, this is the first one that we did a review on. We've also got a second one, but I'm going to run you through the actual gear that I'm actually using on this Avada at the moment. Now, as far as motors go, I am running the T Motor Volo Edition 2000 kV motors. These are the 2208 motors, and these are an absolute beast. Immense amount of thrust out of these motors. Uh, on 3S, it is absolutely amazing i'll have a link in the description to a video on uh, this quad flying with the 3s battery and it is absolutely quite mind-blowing how much power this thing actually delivers and they're the same 3s nanotechs that we use on all of our other quads but these motors just deliver so much grunt now this quad is actually running with these motors in combination with kiss escs so this is the second quad that uh, we've actually put together. And um, this one's essentially the same, using the same frame, etc. Uh, the motors are also T motors. So, um, but the only difference being uh, these motors are 2300 kV as opposed to 2000 kV and they're 2204 motors. Now, this quad is essentially running, for, it's designed to run 3S and 4S. And we had a flight with it uh, on 3S and 4S. And on 3S, look, it didn't seem as powerful as I would have liked it. On 4S, it was much better, but it didn't seem to be mind-blowing power. Now, the ESCs that we're using on this quad are the SN20s. Um, talking to a few people online, uh, sort of discussed that I wasn't overly impressed with this one, especially when I was comparing it to one with more powerful motors and also the fact that I was actually running KISS ESCs. The KISS ESC version quad is just so much more locked in. Uh, a number of people suggested I try these little B ESCs and um, I ended up uh, contacting a local supplier here uh, and that was Buzz Hobbies. Made sure they had them in stock and they said look if I'm going to be doing a review on them they were happy to actually send me a set to actually try out and also send me an additional set that I can use as a giveaway. So we will be giving away a set of four ESCs. Details will be in the description of this video. Now, I also purchased a third set. So we've got two sets that Thomas and myself can actually try and one set, obviously, to give away. Now, what we did was I ended up buying a thrust tester from Hobby King to actually do some thrust tests with it and compare it to the SN20 ESCs. And as you can see, the size difference, uh, there is none. They're virtually identical as far as size goes. So uh, what I wanted to do was actually thrust test them and see exactly how they compare. So what I've got is basically a standard speed controller and that's also hooked up to a UBEC that provides power to it. Obviously I'm running Opto ESCs so I need to supply power to the speed controller. So as far as motors go, I'm running a brand new Sunny Sky motor. This is a spare motor that I've never used. So I hooked it up to the thrust stand and that's basically the motor I'm going to be using from here on in to actually thrust test different uh, props, etc. So um, as far as props go, I'm actually running HQ 5045s uh, because that's what we essentially run on most of our quads. And um, as far as the test itself goes, what I did was test it first with the SN20 ESC and what I did was run a 3S battery and run it up to full throttle. Then what I did was uh, this time uh, running a 4S battery and get the actual thrust reading. And then what I did was I swapped the ESCs over, used the little b ESC and what I did is got recharged the battery again back to full again and did exactly the same test. Now interestingly as far as thrust goes, the thrust value isn't so important. It's more the amount of thrust difference because uh, obviously everyone's going to be running different types of motors, uh, props, etc. But what I was doing here was actually testing the ESC. Now, interestingly, during both of these tests, I on both the 3S and also the 4S, I got around 50 grams. I think it was 55 on one and 49 on the other. Uh, more thrust with the little b ESCs. So that works out to a significant amount, especially with a quadcopter. You've got four of those motors, so essentially that's 200 grams more thrust. So what does 200 grams actually look like? So firstly, what we have here is the um, Yi camera. 
and uh, we've got the weight of that. We've also got a GoPro Hero 3 Black Edition. We'll add that there. We're not quite up to 200 grams. We've got a Mobius camera with a wide angle lens on it. Uh, we'll pop that guy on there too. And we're getting closer now to the 200 gram mark. We're not quite there. And this is a 25 milliwatt immersion RC transmitter. And there you go. That's roughly what 200 grams of additional weight looks like. So that's quite a significant amount. Anyway, what we'll do is actually get this guy out there and uh, do a flight test with it. We flew this around Torquay area. It was an area that Thomas wasn't familiar with. So you'll see it takes him a little while to get that uh, feel for the area and also get a feel for the quad because he obviously hasn't flown this quad at all. But um, what we'll do is cut to some flight footage. And don't forget, there will be details in the description for the giveaway of four ESCs, uh, which were supplied by Buzz Hobbies. Okay, this is the Avada running the... A little bees. Little bees, and we're running 2204s on this. And we're gonna see exactly how she goes. So this is Thomas's first flight with it. Mm. Go for it. How does she feel to you? Feels good. A little bit slippy or not? A little bit slippy. I think it's a pit though. Uh, there's people coming on the track coming yeah. towards us again, so keep an eye on those guys. But other than that, we're pretty much clear. It's a little bit touchy too in the center. The roll rate seems all right on it, doesn't it? Oh yeah, it's good. Now we're running 3S on it. It wasn't very nice on 3S before. It's actually quite nice now, isn't it? Yeah, it'd be interesting to see how it runs on 4S actually. So we'll do a 4S flight in a minute. The breeze not bothering it? So this is Thomas on the sticks at the moment. So this is a 3S battery we're running at the moment, so keep that in mind. We'll go to 4S in a minute and see what she's like. Hopefully we don't blow any ESCs. Any thoughts at the moment? It's really nice once we adapt to it. Now we haven't done any PID tuning with this at all. It's actually running the same PIDs as the other Ravada. So she should be a lot more locked in on the 4S, but we'll go 4S shortly. Just trying some gaps at the moment. That was a tight gap. Handles in the wind. Much nicer? Oh, yeah. Now, these are little bees. They're supposed to be very similar to Kiss ESCs as far as handling goes. And the dampening is actually supposed to be quite aggressive on them. And so, uh, but having said that, the quad does feel locked in, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. It's really good. As far as PIDs, is there anything I need to tune at the moment out of it that you can see? Not really, right now. It's a little bit wishy-washy, but... Well, it should be a little bit more locked in when we go uh, 4S. So we're probably going to have to run profiles on this one and run a profile for 3S and also a profile for 4S. Battery low voltage warning. Do you want to land? Battery low voltage warning. Yeah, you better Battery come down. Battery voltage critical. <laughs> Battery voltage critical. Nice. Seconds. Here she comes in. Yeah, the camera angle really high. It is pretty high in this one. There we go. Yeah. So that's a little bees in action. Your thoughts on the little bees? 
They fly really well. Yeah, that's actually really close to the actual... QCC, isn't it? Yeah, like, I mean, a bit less power, but you can control it really well. That was 3S, and it's running a lot less powerful motors than it's the other one. It's got a lot more power than when we were running the SN20s, interestingly. So, anyway, we'll uh, go with the next battery. Okay, this is the Avada again, running the 2204s with the little B ESCs, and this time we've packed the 4S pack on it and see how she goes. Yes, PIDs are still not changed. So we're still time. running the same PIDs as last time. We'll see exactly how she goes. Mm. Good luck. Are you done? Are you running your external battery pack, are you? Yes, I am, just so I don't waste your internal one. Very nice. Okay, whenever you're ready. Oh, I have a lot more get up and go. A lot more get up and go. So how does she feel as far as locked in goes? Go for a bit of a cruise around, see what she's like. Oh, it's definitely more locked in. You can tell straight away. That was close. How is she? Really nice. Well, the last time we flew on 4S, we weren't as pleased, were we? No, but the difference too between 3S and 4S, and this is actually a lot bigger than when we had the SN20s, interestingly. Yes. A bigger difference, is it? Yeah. Like the power difference is actually a lot more noticeable on this. With the little bees. How does it compare to the Monster uh, 2208? I reckon it could be on par with power, maybe a little bit more. Okay. Now keep in mind the 2208 that we're running on the other quad is only running 3S, so we're comparing a 4S versus 3S. Mm. But this sounds really nice, doesn't it? Yeah. She sounds very locked in in those rolls. Mm, uh, does she need more rates or not? Or is she mm, alright? For me, a little bit more rates and maybe like two more expert. Okay. So you want a little bit more smoothness too, don't you? Yeah, because it's a little bit aggressive. Like. For those fine adjustments? Yeah. Oh god. Oh. What was that? Don't cut too much throttle, that's what it was. That was scary. I actually saw your prop stop spinning then. You cut back way too far. Those motors sound really nice, don't they? Yeah, they How is she through that? Locked in? It's actually quite breezy at the moment. Here he comes. Oh, sorry about that. That wasn't too bad at all. Uh, you're probably getting low on battery. That's all. Oh no, the ground was undulating. Oh, is that I what it was? Your, that. It your was mistake. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right then. But it is internally locked in. So all good. Yes, it's very good. Um, big improvement. So it's not SN20s. Little bees. Little bit ESC. So definitely thumbs up. Definitely, they're really good. Control there. I actually saw the props completely stop. So it's my fault. Cut back way too far, that's all it was. How is it fine? Nothing's broken on it. Sweet. It's all good, it didn't even get dirty. We have dumb dumb, remember that's what it was. Battery pack is hot. Really? Yeah. 
Gave it a good workout, buddy. Got grass in here. Sorry about that. That's all right.